Yeah, what's going on everybody? Sal Pod King Carter, the Superman of YouTube. I got some info from E3 about NBA 2K13. I know y'all been waiting on this. I know y'all been watching that bullshit live stream. We got no real info on NBA 2K13. We still don't even know if crew mode is in the game. That's the biggest thing that we're worried about. And yet they can't give us any info on it. But I got a little bit of info for y'all. Um, in the description, it's a link. You're going to want to click it. It's just that simple. I'm really not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to give you a little bit of insight on what the article is about. But it's about a couple things that you might want to know about. Um, first thing is quick transitions from certain animations that the computer makes after, you know, scoring a bucket or going into halftime, you know, getting a layup and falling and not getting up for 20 minutes, stuff like that. Also, um, they tried to fix the movement of players without the ball, like coming off picks and screens and all of that. Also, they say that they've worked on the passing a lot. Now, of course, you already know that NBA Live is basically putting passing on their back for being better than 2K13. Now, it's going to be a big, big thing about it. But me, seriously, I really don't care because I'm going to get both games anyway. Now, another thing that they talked about, they talked about Dwayne Wade step back, step back hesitations, you know, players with the ball. So they're saying that, you know, all of the moves that he did, they were more fluid. They were faster. They weren't, you know, you don't have to do an actual hesitation move to do ISO motion moves. Um, also, they saw that the bigger defender didn't catch up to the smaller defender. But when I saw Kendrick Perkins running with Westbrook, Kendrick Perkins was actually keeping up with him. Even though Tim Duncan and him was, you know, lagging in the back. I'm guessing that your teammate runs at the same speed as you do for a fast break. Um, moving on. Um, the dude that makes the game, I think Mike Wang or something like that. Whoever dude is, I don't care. Um, he said for a small update, he figured out why Manu Ginobili blasted through the D in that vid of the gameplay that they showed us on Spike TV. So with that being said, he said he fixed it. I'm still waiting to see. Hopefully they did, but he said rest assured it will be plenty of contact in NBA 2K13. What does plenty of contact mean? More bumps? I don't I don't I don't know. You listen, I'm not the guy you got you guys want to yell at. Don't dislike the video just because I'm telling y'all what they told me or what I'm reading, but it is what it is. Also they say that they completely reworked the way to handle contacts on drives and shots. Also, a big thing, they say that people that do up and unders you know that cheese up and under they say that you can actually get caught in an animation whereas though you can't do the full up and under some people might be able to double team you some people probably can block you steal the ball bump you all of that so it might not be no up and under cheese in nba 2k13 i know a lot of people are probably happy about that and some of us that like to score with that move are like shit but we all know that the computer are gonna do is gonna do it with no problem so moving on also um it's another article out about the passing game. I'm going to get into that in the next video. But like I said, go in the description, click the link, and read up. This is IKC signing out. All right, y'all. Peace.